Hey guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the new Security Breach Wave by U2s. I'm a little bit late. These guys have been coming in for a while, but I've been waiting on Sun and Moon because they've been taking forever. I want to give a huge thanks to U2s for sending me these for free to review. And yeah, let's get into it. So I suppose we should start off with probably the least interesting one here. We got Hide and Seek Vanny. So something you may notice about this figure... What? Her being red, I guess, could be a reference to how her, she affects the screen. But then it, hide and seek? What do you mean by that? Like, it's just kind of confusing. But anyway, let's get it open. So, um, yeah, I've actually already opened these ones. Um, Burn Trap and Hide and Seek Vanny because, um, yeah. But I haven't really taken a good look at their boxes. So, um, her sleeve is exactly the same as all the other Security Reach figures. Nothing really of note there. But, um, the actual box itself, you can see the background is, again, the same as all the other Security Breach figures. Same layout overall here. The side, it says, are you having fun yet? Here it says, don't worry, I'll be ready. Um, not really sure what that's quoting, or if it's quoting anything at all, but you can see, like, little Freddy things here, like Freddy's looking at this, which is cool. And then here it says, I won't let you down. So yeah, um, not bad. Definitely better than the original Vanny's box quotes, because the original Vanny's box quotes were just Matthew Curtis voice lines that weren't even in the game. So yeah, that was her box. Now let's get on to the actual figure. So, um, you may notice this has a very interesting little, like, fading effect with the black and the red, and I think it looks really cool. Um, I really like how that looks, actually. It's pretty trippy. I like the black bow tie and everything, and the overall just, like, black and red really works well with Vanny. So, um, the original Vanny figure was in the skipping pose that she usually does in the game. Here, I'm not really sure what she's doing. Maybe it's, like, another, like, phase of her dance animation, but it's kind of just a weird pose to pick. I think maybe the running animation with her hands up in the air would have been cooler, but oh well. You can see the turnaround of the figure here. Looks good. The positioning of the ears between these figures are exactly the same. I'm pretty sure the head molds are basically identical. They're just repainted, but the bodies are unique. And yeah, um, even though it's another limited time, like this is only available for like three days, I'm pretty sure. While this one is exclusive to a collector's edition, but it's good that there's two Vanny figures from U2s around, so now you have two different options. But yeah, um, I really like how this figure looks. Overall, I'll give it like a 6, 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite in the wave, but it's alright. So next up we got, ah, oh, there's the Mimic, ah! But um, I do hope they actually do make a Mimic figure in the future, because I think that'd be really cool. Well, you know, we got Burn Trap here. He's a form of the Mimic, but he's not exactly the Mimic. So yeah, um, same box as all the other Security Reach figures, nothing really to point out. Really cool artwork though, so let's get the sleeve open. Alright, so here you can see Burn Trap, same deal as the other Security Reach figures with the emblem and the artwork and then the stars over here. But still, very cool. On the side it says, um, eh -he -he -he, which is a reference to when he, um, he in the background of the boss fight when you fight Burn Trap, you can subtly hear him laughing in the background, and it's like a weird, like, low demonic laugh, and then there's also, like, a more, like, um, young adult sounding laugh. Not really sure who he's, like, trying to sound like there, but that is a thing that he does in the boss fight. Then on the back, you got artwork of Burn Trap crashing through a door. I really wish that happened in the game. And then it says, Quick Hide on the top. And then to add more to this box, usually it's Vanny in the background of the boxes. Here, it's actually Burn Trap. And then the top part of his box just says, oh no, which is really funny. So, um, yeah, here we got Burn Trap, and he looks really cool. I really like this figure. Um, just, like, the detail on him is fantastic you can even see like where the suit was torn open so um and bolted back shut which is really cool uh you can see like all the little endoskeleton details you can see um the like veins and stuff going through the body you can see his bone fingers just like this figure is easily the most detailed fnaf u2s and he looks fantastic 
and he's obviously doing the pose from the final cutscene. I always like the detail that the back of um, Burn Trap's suit is like bolted shut because it kind of references how like the mimic would tear the back of a suit open to get into it. This guy looks really, really cool. He's probably my favorite FNAF U2s. Basically no complaints. And it does make me wish they put a bit more effort into the Springtrap figure because you can see the detail on Burn Trap. Imagine if they put that in the Springtrap. I still like how Springtrap looks, but they really could have done a better job on the detailing. But yeah, next up we got the sun and the moon. So you can see here, sun and moon. Um, it shows moon on the top and then sun on the front, which is cool. Um, sleeve is the same as all the other ones. Let's get it open. Now I actually have not opened this figure yet, so um... Yeah, and this is my first experience with it. I already have some words for it, looking at it through the window, but we'll get to that later. You can see top and front, you can see the side, they're both there, which is really cool. The back, you can see the daycare castle, and it says, New friend, this area is off limits, you're gonna get in trouble. So yeah, nice quote. There is only one rule, keep the lights on. Nice. And then when you open it up, it says, I'm putting you in timeout. All right, so this is like the easily the bulkiest of the FNAF U2's figures so far. Um, he looks pretty dang cool, although I do have some complaints about the colors here. So, Sun on the back of the box, and let's just look at the box here. You can see Sun is very clearly a lighter shade of like yellow compared to Moon, but in the actual figure, these are the same color. They are like the same gray ugly shade colors which is really lame because it really clashes with the yellow on the side here um i'm just kind of not happy with the color scheme on sun i don't think he looks very good i think the sculpt itself is amazing i think they did a really great job on that but i do think that moon just overall looks better because sun the colors just don't really work here they clash way too much they don't really look that much like how he does in the game not a fan of the gray, but I do think that Moon looks much better. You can see the little details. Um, one thing I did notice is that Sun has, still has the moons on his shoes, and Moon also has the moons on his shoes. They, I guess they just forgot, but like, Sun is supposed to have little suns on his shoes. Like, you can see on the back side, on the front side, it's supposed to be a moon, but you can see on the back side, it's supposed to be a little sun, but here it's not that. Um, same things for moon. The sun is supposed to be on the front side, but it's not. There's a moon there, and then there's no sun on the- there's no, um, moon. The moon's on the back side for moon, which is right, but no sun on the front side. A little disappointing. But I feel like the symbols on their shoes is a really, really minor nitpick. Um, I feel like this figure has bigger problems. I'm not a big fan of how moon's hat looks. Um, this is like the same color as the rest of him. The colors on this figure are just not great. I really would have preferred if they were separated because them getting connected like this kind of restricts the way you can display this because like there's no way to get them both in view so you just kind of have to pick and choose which really sucks unless you bought two of them. I don't know why the back of Moon's head is like this black blob instead of the normal bolts that Sun has. Um, the circuit board is still there but I'm not really sure what's going on there. The circuit board is also white which I don't get. I think it's pretty easy to say that Funko did these characters a bit more justice. However, I still do think the sculpt on these guys is really great. I just think that um, they're really held back by the paint job being really, really bad. It's not even that it's poorly applied, because I don't really see any paint mistakes on this guy. It's literally just the fact that the paint that they chose does not fit the figure or the character at all. It works better for Moon, but at the same time, the top of the hat is not right. Um, not really a big fan of the black outlines on the pants stars. Um, just a lot of little issues with this figure that add up to making it not the best. So yeah, again, thank you you two so much for giving me stuff again to review. I really appreciate it. My set for free by you two's lineup is looking quite great with the prototype Springtrap and prototype Dreadbear. Alright, so let's move the Fanverse figures out of here so we can fit Sun and Moon nicely with the other Security Breach lineup. And yeah, I've recently set up this U2's shelf. I don't think I've ever shown it in a video before, but yeah, here we got all my U2's collection. I've added in all the new ones very nicely there. 
So yeah.